helps most women start a business? Is it passion, money, or freedom? Welcome to Female Founders, the podcast that takes you behind the scene with women who are founders and CEOs to help you start and scale a successful business of your own. I am your host, Nagelia de Ravin. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Female Founders. In this episode, we are going to have a conversation with Nicole Batist. She is a retired army veteran, Aino Empowerment Wellness and Life Coach, number one best-selling author, poet, speaker, and founder of Be Well with Nikki. Good morning, Nicole. Um, you know one thing I realize about you? You wear yeah. many hats. <laughs> As a wellness and health, it's like uh, I'm just excited to have this conversation with you today and learn more about how you started this wonderful journey in helping people lead a, uh, lead a better life. Can you tell us what led you to wellness and, well- and health? Yeah, it's my own personal mental health journey, actually. Um, I battled depression from a young age and all into my adulthood until maybe my twenties when I read my first personal development book. And after I read that book, I was like, where was this like 10, 15 years ago? And why isn't this stuff like talked about more often? Um, at least not in our communities, not. So, you know, as I begin to grow and evolve and learn, that's, I had the, I'm like, there's probably other people suffering in silence. Like they have a smile on their face, but internally there's a lot of turmoil and cause that's what I had. Um, so I was like, I'm sure I can help people out of out of that state, and so that their inner world and their outer world are aligned. Wow! So you just decided that okay, this helped me, and then I can just go help other people with what helping me. Yeah, as well. I like that. Mm-hmm. So, how did the idea of starting your own business come into mind? Initially, that was an accident. <laughs> like, <laughs> I am um, so. I so I was active duty military and I was also working a part-time job at at that time and I went to Korea for a year so I wasn't working a part-time job and when I came back I was like oh I'll just continue working my part-time job and then I realized how exhausting that was and I was like well let me see if I could find something that I can work from home and I came across some ad and it was actually Herbalife which is a supplement company um it's like you can work from home. And I misunderstood. Of course, Herbalife, you're, you're, it's like you're owning your own business. And so that's how I started. That's where my entrepreneur journey started, actually. <laughs> that happens. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm applying for a job, but I end up with a business. I guess yeah. that's okay, too. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly as what happened. As long as I'm getting money and I'm home. <laughs> basically. <laughs> oh my goodness, that is so funny. So also, uh, can you tell us more about Well with Nikki, your wellness yeah. company? Yeah, so Be Well with Nikki. Be Well with um, Nikki, yes. I, I, be, the word be to me is, is being very intentional, right? To mm. be yourself, you literally have to understand who you are and where you're trying to go. And you, that's how you can be. So I want you, I want everyone to just be, just embody it. Right. And then, well, it's such a, it's a huge umbrella, right? There's mental health, nutritional health, physical health, financial health, relationship health, all of that. Like I want all of that to be well (laughs) for you. And with Nikki, Nikki is an acronym that stands for notice, introspection, knowledge, kindness, and improvement. Huh? So, yes. So I created the Nikki method as a way for autonomous healing because you, like I struggled for a long time by myself. And if you sit around waiting for somebody to help you or rescue you, you're going to be waiting for a long time because most Sorry people are wrapped around their own stuff too. Right. So how do you, if you, if you don't want to go see a counselor, how do you heal otherwise? So you just take that introspective work and make it work for you. And that's where the kindness and the knowledge piece come in. You got to be kind to yourself as you're figuring stuff out. Right. Before we continue, I want to take you a little bit back again. Can you repeat what Nikki mean again? Absolutely. Notice. So that's bringing awareness to your state of being, your mindset, how you eat. Notice, bringing awareness to you. And then introspection. 
So doing that inner work, looking in and like if something makes you mad or you get mad at something because nothing can make you mad without your permission. If you get mad at something, you take a look in like, I wonder where that anger comes from because it's not that it's never that incident. It's something that was not processed in the past already. So and then knowledge and you gather that knowledge with that introspective work and also with becoming more aware of your own self kindness because you know you just got to be kind to yourself (laughs) you got to give yourself grace as you're learning because you know you know better you do better you can choose to do better and sometimes we can we can have we can have that dang it i should have known no there is no should have should is a should is a cuss word should should be a cuss word (laughs) absolutely (laughs) and then improvement is the last I. so as you get gather all that information and that introspective work and you're kind to yourself then you can evolve and improve your life. You know, I I have uh, the whole thing in my head that I'm going to ask you, uh, do you have your daughter named Nikki or your, someone in your family named Nikki that uh, you just, you know, you have that connection, you want to use it? But that was, oh, that was not my expectation at all. It's like <laughs> a whole different level of what Nikki stands for. And you know how many times I see that name like Nikki? Usually it doesn't have 2K on it, but yeah. I never really think there's a meaning behind it. <laughs> this is so awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Now, as I, so, when I was a kid, I was called Nikki from by my family. That makes sense. And then you create, mm-hmm. oh my goodness, this is so cool <laughs> to create Thank all you. And it, it all makes sense. You know, the meaning behind it all makes sense. Um, but it's exciting to, uh, that's also why I usually try to understand the, the meaning behind the name when a woman picked that name, because there's always a meaning behind it that is way bigger than us, always, yeah. which is yeah. super cool. So what yeah. are the services that uh, Be Well With Nikki offers? So I offer a program called Soul Print Nutrition and that is like a really total body reset, um, cleansing nutrition program. Uh, it is 13 weeks and I walk you through just education on nutrition, your body, your mind and, and everything. So it's kind of like a slow cleanse and then a reintegration. I also offer energy clearing. So if you find areas Um, in your life where you feel like you're stuck and you don't know why you have repeating patterns and you're like, I can't figure out where that's coming from. It's a lot of times in the subconscious because you know, the subconscious controls 95% of our actions, right? So if it's in the subconscious, you, it's not normally, it's not always, you're not always conscious of it. So it's a repeating pattern that you have subconsciously. So I help clear that so that you can get over that, whatever that hurdle is. And it could be nutrition. It could be relationships. It can be mindset, money, anything. Um, So I help clear that. I also have a cohort that I call um, Inner Empowerment Wellness and Life Coaching Cohort. And that's seven weeks. And it's really a very intense program that, you know, it's based on your goal, but then there's other proprietary tools and things like that, that I, that I use throughout the program to help you achieve that goal, or at least set you on a path to achievement of that goal. Um, and it, and I do energy clearing in there within that program as well. <clears throat> um, I also offer like virtual grocery store tours cause you know, <laughs> Grocery store shopping could either take all day because you're reading all the things or mm-hmm. I, can, I help you cut that short because there's a lot of things. It's so easy to just um, to show people like what to look for so that they aren't spending forever in there. Besides, like, like I don't know about anybody else, but by the time I'm out of there, I'm like frozen. <laughs> so I try not <laughs> to stay in there too long. Um and I and I do, which is also in, included in the cohort. But I also do what I what it's called, draw your future, because I'm a draw your f- future consultant. And it really is getting a snapshot of like where you are right now, where you're trying to go, and then how you bridge the gap. And I hand draw yeah. your words, so we we have a conversation, and I'm drawing as we're talking what you're saying. So at the end, you get a copy of that, so you can have a visual. It's like a vision board, but it's more somatic because it's connected to you because it's your words and it's the pictures that came from what you were saying. So I offer wow. that as well. Mm-hmm. And that's so included in the cohort as well. Mm-hmm. So with that package, pretty much they can they can use that picture to remind them of 
where they actually want to be. I'm, th I'm thinking that image have the steps that they are taking together. Yeah. So the, the image shows the final results. And then we, I do write out the steps, like based on what they said, what bold actions are you going to take and how are you going to implement those bold actions? So you have, you do have the image, but you also have words of like, how are you going to make sure that you achieve that goal? And of course, after that, you can choose to work with me to help make sure you achieve it. But if some people are go-getters, some people just needed that, need that foundation and then they can go. So whichever direction you need to take, I, I honor that. Wow. That is super cool. But also, but do you come like, I know you all, you have a seven weeks pro, uh, program. Do you have like where people can work with you in the long term? Because I know sometimes mm -hmm. some people need more than, than just seven weeks. They need uh, yeah. more shoulder, you know, a little bit longer. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So I, I, I let those be all a la carte. And if, um, if someone wants to work longer, depending on what it is that they want to do, could it like the energy clearing or just regular, just checking in. So it just depends on what they're wanting to do. I can do a bundle, which I have done for clients before so that um, you get extra stuff, extra bonuses in it um, when you do that. So yeah, that is definitely an option and I get it. Yeah. And when you say also that you say that you help them with the shopping, is that something you just teach them one time and you go like, here we go, now you know what to do? Or is it something that you guide them for a little bit longer or when on I a monthly the, basis? When I do the energy clearing? No, I mean like teaching oh. them the shopping. Like a, the shopping? Yeah. Oh, so it'll, I can either, they can either take me virtually to the grocery store with them or, wow. um, or I can go to the grocery store and video them with me shopping. Um, but that part is just a one on one. And then they have the option to to message me like when they go and if they have a question, like if we didn't cover something in that that virtual shopping experience, they can message me at any time. I have a, a client portal and they can message me and ask a question at that time as well. OK, but do you also do like, uh, you know, how you can go shopping on, for example, Costco, you can shop online, things like that. Do you also do uh that as part of your future or just uh, in one day in the store you are talking to them um i've not done the online i've not actually had that request but i'm definitely open to it <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness and then um for the cleanser how does that work exactly um do you stay with them how long that is it like a one-time thing you take you done or what's the process of that for the clearing mm -hmm. so that call, it just depends on how quickly we can get to that subconscious program. So if say someone's having issues um, with a relationship and they're like, I keep attracting the same type of person that's abusive and they don't know why, because you know, them, they aren't abusive people. But so I would ask a question is like, when is the first time you've encountered somebody who was, who kind of was like the people you're attracting? Usually it's at a young age that, that had become their norm. That's who they know. And, and so I, we try to figure out like, what are the thoughts that you had around that time that we can clear out? Cause right. What's happened is those thoughts, like this is what love looks like. And then mm -hmm. that's, you know what I mean? So um, if I, if I, do anything else I won't be loved or something like that like if that thought is still stuck there and it's associated with that type of person then that's gonna that's subconscious like they aren't thinking it nowadays but that's what they associate it with that's how they are supposed to attract whoever so we clear that out and things shift at that like after that um sometimes of course we are well I'm still clearing stuff you know from my past right so it's a wow. never-ending process which is why I definitely offer like um, packages like a 10 pack a 12 pack um, and some just depending on how intense it is it could it could be done daily or weekly or monthly but so that's what we do um, I walk them through how to tap into their subconscious consciously so that we can clear it out and that's pretty much it it just it depends on how long it, it takes to get to the origin or as close to the origin of the program as possible and then as as we clear one like later on what tends to happen is another one comes up or sometimes while we're going through the process another program will come to mind and I always in, um, invite them to I'm like if anything else comes up while we're while we're clearing this just let me know we can annotate it 
and we can clear it later. I can also teach you how to clear your own programs so yeah. that you don't have to work with me unless you just want to. I will say I clear my own programs, but I still work with other practitioners because we still all have our blind spots, but um, it'll at least you can do as much as you can. And then, then you can reach out instead of um, having me do it all the time, which I don't mind either way, whichever works best for healing. Right. And with that program, I'm thinking like, if they ever, like, for example, um, with tough love, you know, has parents, sometimes parents have tough love where mm -hmm. you have to just have to do that because the kid don't, you know, sometimes they don't listen and um, they take that tough love and then they expecting everyone to be like, like that with them. So mm -hmm. I'm guessing with that program, when, when they making that mindset to like, no, that person needs to be tough with me. They stop themselves like, no, it's okay for that person to love me the way that person loves me. Yeah. That person do doesn't need to be tough yeah. to love me the way he or exactly. she loves me, right? Yeah, yeah. You, you hit the nail on the head. Yeah, that's one of, that can happen. That is that is how you identify a program. Yeah, yep. And um, I know at the beginning you, you spoke of how you're getting into wellness and health. Do you still work with that company still? Um, which one? Sorry. Oh, you know, at the beginning, yes. No, I I left Herbalife many many years ago. Because um, <laughs> uh, I I speak mostly on uh, whole foods and holistic nutrition that way. Um, I'm supplements. I feel like it's only as a necessity if you need to help enhance something. Um, I, I'm not a key, a fan of like having supplements on a regular basis. I feel like you should be able to get as much nutrients as you can from your foods. So not against supplements. I just, why you know. it's, not, it's, it's not the, um, the number one thing that's going to help you solve the problem you are dealing with. Yeah. Yep. Exactly. So you're also uh, a mission ambassador for, um, with the wellness universe. Can you, Tell us more about that. Yeah, so that's a um, that's a a community of wellness practitioners that's off social media. So there's a, a whole website of wellness practitioners who serve you in all different areas. There's Reiki practitioners, so energy healers, readers, nutritionists, and just all kinds of wellness people. Um, and what I do is I. I introduce it to, to any other wellness practitioner who's not a member. I just share the mission and I invite them to join. So that's that's my goal. And then with the current members, my um, my goal and my job is just to make sure that they're fully taking advantage of their membership as a wellness universe member. Wow, you have you have a lot to handle. <laughs> <laughs> Easy. <laughs> Right. I know it's easy peasy, but still a lot, you know? <laughs> and um, how do you think that um, when dealing with health, uh, wellness and health, when do you think that someone should get a coach? Like, um, wh when is that moment in life where you feel like, okay, I need, it, I need a wellness and health coach to help me out? Yeah. So if you find yourself repeating patterns and not able to shift into next gear your, by yourself, then get a coach, get some help. Um, it could be, you know, we only know what we know. We only have the perspective from our own experience. So having someone else on the outside who has your best interest at heart can give you other perspectives um, that can help you shift to whichever gear you're trying to get to. That is a good time um, to incorporate some coaching. Um, if you, if there's someone who is at a level that you're wanting to get to, a coach can definitely accelerate that. I mean, you can definitely do trial and error. It just depends on how much time you have. If, you, if you're ready to shift <laughs> like quickly, coaches help shortcut a lot of stuff because we've been through a lot. We've seen a lot more because we work with different people. So we can always offer a little bit more insight as, as far as that goes. So mainly when you just find yourself not holding yourself accountable for things, if you're not, you know, not accomplishing goals the way you wish you would. And coach could be just a short period of time just to ignite, or it could be a, a long-term relationship. 
Um, so it just depends. Mm -hmm. Just depends. But do you also think that a wellness and health coach, you think that they can also like, for example, having issue, unable to balance life or even uh, weight uh, situation? Is that something you will tell them also wish out to a wellness and health coach to help yeah, out? Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah, because wellness is it is the balance aspect of it, right? So um, I will say if it's like relationship specific, there may be relationship coaches. I I personally, I mean, there are relationship coaches. I personally work with the interpersonal relationship. Like my my main focus is your relationship with yourself, because if that's screwed up, then you're going to manifest things that you don't want, right? So yes yeah that's for <laughs> sure it's always start with ourselves you know mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but it, it, i know communication plays especially when you're talking about uh i know self uh, communication plays a very big part of it is that something you also push your client to do more often even communicate uh, to be able to solve the problem in an easier way instead of just keeping everything inside and making things worse and which also i would think that hurt yourself as well because uh you're not fixing the problems. You're just holding it in and making Absolutely. it bigger mess. Absolutely. Yeah. Communication. First, you got to be honest with yourself, right? Like if, if you get mad because someone's not giving you what you need, are you being honest with yourself? Are you sharing what you need or are you keeping it in? Cause you know, mm -hmm. I, as much as we'd love to be mind readers, nobody is. Um, we can assume stuff, we can intuit some things, but we're not perfect mind readers. So yes, if, if they're not being able to communicate, communicate clearly what they need just in themselves, do they even know what they want or they need? I had struggled with that for a long time. I didn't, I'm like, what do I, if someone were to ask me what I needed in a relationship, I wouldn't have been able to tell them. Because, <laughs> you know what I mean? Cause I didn't have a model of a, a good relationship as I was growing up. So Establishing that required, um, excuse me, <clears throat> requires some inner work. Like, what do I need? What do I want? So that's where you got to know that part and then you can clearly communicate it. Or you can also, if you're not like already married or whatever, you can see some flags, right? Like, okay, this is what I need in a relationship. And this person's not either not able to or willing to um, provide that. And okay, we can be friends. It's no, you know, no hard feelings, but this won't work otherwise. So it's just being honest with yourself and being able to clearly communicate that. Yes, that is definitely a huge piece. Yes. Mm -hmm. So what has been um, your most challenging experience so far while coaching individuals? What has been most challenging? I know. I put I you on the spot here. No <laughs> worries. No worries. What's interesting is what has been most challenging was the very beginning having the confidence to actually get out there and do it because hmm. I connect well with my clients. Like they, I, I don't, I haven't advertised. So when I gotten them, they've come to me for some, somehow <laughs> they were already, <laughs> they already felt connected to me. They've met me before or whatever. Um, so I would say my, my most challenging was believing that what I was doing was actually helping people and, and not taking that to a coaching session. Right. Cause that energy is transferable and that's, that doesn't help either of us. So, um, so just working through that confidence piece and understanding and knowing that what I have to offer is very helpful and life changing. Once I got to that point, the coaching is is easy. It's easy. Easier. Yeah. It's kind of funny how everything always starts with ourselves. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> So Basically. your book inspires many to go on the path of wellness. Can you please tell us about that book? Um, the the goddess book, which book? The goddess book, yes. Okay. So that that's a co-authored book. And actually, Wellness Universe is the the Anna Pereira. She's the um, CEO of the Wellness Universe, and she's the main author on that book. And in that book, I shared how. I had to work on myself to get to where I am today. I shared how um, I was molested as a young kid and all the things that I had to go through and how, how I had to realize that no one's going to come save me. I have to do this myself. And it kind of sucked at first. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> this is some bull. But 
it also makes you more stronger and more resilient. So, um, but there's other authors in that book that have their other stories on how they overcame different things. So it's kind of like a chicken soup for the soul concepts, if you're familiar with that book. Yes. Um, but that's what that's how we do it. We share our story and then we share the tool. And that's where I actually talk about the Nikki method in there. We share the tool that we use to help us get overcome that help, help us overcome that um, whatever it was that we shared about in that book. So. Yes, but you know what? It's I think that it's a great book because a lot of people are suffering, especially uh, as women, we suffer from type of things like that all the time. And then hearing it from someone else, yeah. knowing that that person get over it and move on with life, and now out there helping other people, yeah. it's um I, sh- I I would say motivate us to also say, you know what? If Nicole can do this, so can I. Absolutely. I can give it a shot too, you know. I'm not saying you you're going to save everyone on earth because none of us can. We can't save mm-hmm. everyone, but yeah. at least the 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 small group that we save make a huge difference. And and I think that's what I like the fact that uh, not everyone will open up like that and share the story. Yeah, but thank some you. Some people just don't. Yeah. So you also join your own from your own life uh, experience when you're coaching with others. Mm-hmm. You you take your own life experience as well to coach them. So my question to you, how do you keep yourself motivated and upbeat to face that type of things? Like you said, hey, I'm going to use this and coach you without you bringing yourself down with it. Well, I believe once you've gotten to a place of heal and forgiveness and all of that, it doesn't weigh you down. At this, at that point, it's just something that happened that you survived through and thrived through. And you can share from a place of, this is what happened. This is what I did. You can do the same thing. Thanks. So it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't affect me that way. Wow. Does that answer, if I answered you? Yes, but it takes a lot of practice. Does I wouldn't say practice. I would say it takes a lot of that inner work. It takes a lot inner of work. that forgiveness. It takes a lot of a different perspective also, because of course, with the struggles that from your side is sucked. Right. Mm -hmm. But if you, if you step outside of that and you, you know, hurt people, hurt people. Yeah. He should have known better. Yeah. Those people should have known better, but what in the heck had to be going on in their head for them to be able to do stuff like that? What were they suffering with? So it, it's like taking yourself out of it and like just absorb, observing the whole situation. And also I believe that I had to go through that because the, I, my mission is to help people be able to get through theirs, right? In a way that that's not um, triggering to them later on, like it doesn't affect them in a relationship later on. So it's perspective. I like that. That was, <laughs> that was my that was my path for this reason. <laughs> but I do understand your point because. The- if you if that ever happened to you, then you would probably me and you wouldn't be having this conversation right now. Your yeah. path would have been completely different. Yeah. Probably wellness and health wouldn't be your path. It would be something right. completely different. So I guess we have to go through this type of things to get to where we need to be in life. And I guess I'm understanding you by also we need to learn to uh to forgive ourselves, forgive mm-hmm. what happened. Not forget, but forgive and move on and take that experience to uh, to make something, to create something better in this world instead of just uh, turning it to create something bad. Yeah, yeah, because the one thing that we all have control over is our response to a situation. Absolutely. Right? Can't control yes. the situation itself, but you can re- control how you respond and you can choose to, you can choose to let it, hinder you or you can choose to let it boost you in another way like exactly. you go through, when you go through trials you you learn and grow you learn about yourself you learn about you really a lot about yourself right like how you respond to things so yeah you just just how do you choose to respond and it's not it, it may not always feel fair but you can't fight nature <laughs> <laughs> you, you, either, you either choose you, whatever your choice is. You're you're setting your next path, and I choose peace. That's my biggest thing. I choose peace, and and, 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 and yeah. I think the peace is the best as well. Yeah, 
And I think even with me, sometimes I even or I, having staff, dealing with a lot of staff myself, sometimes it can be very frustrating for me. Mm-hmm. And those time I want to scream. I, I want to just pull my hair out of my head because, mm-hmm. like, how did you make such a silly mistake? Mm-hmm. But I have to uh, step aside, cool myself down. Like, mistakes happen and mm-hmm. it's okay, but I can help that person learn from that mistake so that mm-hmm. that person doesn't make that mistake again. Yeah. And um, I, I would say that, uh, like you said, it's really high in your work because even with me, when I started being uh, early on at a young age, starting managing people, that was one of my first issue. Like, mm-hmm. okay, if I want to be a leader, I have to change the way I think, the way mm-hmm. I see things, and also the way I respond to things. Yeah. And yes, it was a high in your work that mm-hmm. I have to do with myself. Mm-hmm. So I guess I never really realized that's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> yep, you sure did. Yeah. You know, at the beginning, you said that you do that type of uh, uh, thing all the time. Do you also have a podcast? Yeah, I um, have a YouTube channel and I interview. Right now, I've been interviewing wellness practitioners just to kind of get their name out there and just have a conversation. Mm-hmm. Like, how are they how are they serving people? And if, of course, if they have something virtual, ideally, when someone comes across the interview, they will reach out like, that's my person, that's my practitioner. And it's all holistic based. So um, there's nothing against Western medicine, but I, I feel like it should be coupled with some type of alternative healing. Um, and that's why I chose it. So I call it tips over tea. So we have a, a cup of Ooh. tea as we're talking and to share tips from the, the practitioners. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Thank you. <laughs> so be well with Nikki. What's next for the company itself? I actually, I'm doing more speaking. So I actually have two speaking engagements coming up in September. Um, for now and long term i have a nonprofit that i'll be building for underserved children so um and it's going to be a holistic approach for them um so right now just speaking and continuing like uh working with with people getting my cohort up and running and repeating and and all that just helping people heal from inside out and uh yeah, that's that's it for now. <laughs> One thing I feel like every, every plan that you create always uh, include other people. Like you create it to to help other people, but it's not just it's not for you. Because like when you talk about the nonprofit, it's like I want to help. It's like for me, it's when you said it, it's like okay, I want to help the next generation. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely, and that's the that's what it that's basically what that is it's for the next generation and for the generations to follow that so absolutely we we have to you know because if if we don't step on and then uh, start start helping them now and we wait until they get older i think it's become a bit harder it's like uh it's harder to to fix to make you know fix the problems because Mm -hmm. uh, they only been dealing with it for too long so Mm -hmm. i think your idea is brilliant Thank you. Thank you. Start from the beginning. Let's fix yes. it now before you get too old. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, with COVID nineteen and everything else just happened in the past um, in the past few years, um, mm-hmm. how important do you do you feel like wellness and health has been to people? It's huge. A lot of people realize they don't like their job or they don't like their partners because they had to spend a lot of time home. And or they're spending a lot of time home and now they have to go back to work and they're like, what was I doing? So (laughs) um, it really it's a huge piece of it. Like when you choose to go back to work, well, for one, knowing that you are making that choice, like people say, I have to go back to work. No, you're choosing to because because of what going to work does for you. You want to be able to pay your bills and your mortgage. So you're choosing to go back to work. where do you go from there? But how do you, how do you work with people again? How do you like, how do you keep yourself in peace in a peaceful state? So that doing a lot of that, that mindset work is very vital. And with the relationship, if you, if it's something that you can rekindle, great, it's still going to require some inner work. Um, If it's something you decide not to rekindle, it's still going to require a higher level of conversation um, so that 
the you know the break doesn't have to be bitter or anything. It's just two people realizing, okay, this maybe this was a mistake. It's it's all good, even if it's been twenty years. People change, things happen. Sometimes you get married early, and it was for certain circumstances, or you attracted who you were at that time, and now you're completely different people. It's it is what it is. It's just like what do you do next? That's really what what matters. What's matter? Yeah, I, I created a, an a acronym with the word what. <laughs> it's like, what's, the, what's the next wisely honed action taken? That's what what stands for. What are you going to do next? Because what happened is what it is. What's your next step? <laughs> wow, well said. And any advice do you have for um, women out there that are just trying to start out? Um, in business or? In business. Yeah, so yeah, a couple things really. One, don't put the cart before the horse like I did. I, there's a lot of stuff I could tell you not to do. <laughs> <laughs> really do research. Um, and once you've researched what you're wanting to do, one, if you could find a mentor, do that. Um, two, if you're still, if you're working, I would say do it part time. See if you really like it or was just, did you like the idea of it? Right. And while you still have kind of a safety net. Um Make sure you have your ducks in a row. Once you decide to go all in, and even all in could still be part time on a side, but all in, like if you're going to create a formation, make sure you have your lawyers and your CPA, like all of that stuff ahead of time. It may feel like a lot of money in the beginning, but it will save you a headache later on. Later, yes. Um, so make sure that stuff is is in a row, and those are the biggest things. Like, don't do it just to make money. Like I believe it should come from the heart. Um, because if you're doing it to make money, you'll burn out. And, and, no, and that's... right. And so when you're doing something that's that that speaks to your heart, like the energy feels endless. It's you don't get tired. You you get tired, like physically tired, but you still are like wanting to go, even though you're like, I need to go to bed, but I want. <laughs> so do something that that really moves you. And I, I truly believe that um, people can can earn an income doing something they love. Also make sure there's a market for what you love. Sometimes it might just have to stay a hobby. Um, but if there's no demand for it, it might just have to stay a hobby. But yeah, check check that as well. That's kind of important. I just have to wait a little bit longer until people are ready for it. Yeah, yep, exactly. Or be a pioneer. If you can afford to be a pioneer, do that too. It Just, just know that your path will typically be a little bit harder because you won't necessarily have mentors who've already paved the way for that. Um, you don't have the market research and all that stuff, but... Don't let anyone tell you you can't do anything. Don't let um, people try to discourage you from your dreams because you were given that vision, not them. And they can only see it from their perspective. They can't see it from your point of view. I think I, I said, I wrote a poem or a tweet or something. I'm like, if you take advice from someone on your vision, it's like listening to a backseat driver who's blindfolded. Like they don't know, they don't see what you see. It's not their job to see what you see. So if you have negative people around you when you're trying to start out you may have to distance yourself from them for a little bit and find people who support what you're doing so and trust me you will meet a lot of them first before you meet yes. the good people yes. that's that's from my experience you always meet all the bad ones <laughs> at the beginning <laughs> yeah but you learn and grow from that right so then you yes. that, that'll also help when it comes to possibly hiring people or getting a partner you kind of know some signs to look for um, so it's all a growth process. Exactly. And I guess uh, also um, one thing to get help, don't try to, to do it all alone. I think that, uh, that's one of the things that us as women, we always think we can do everything by yeah. ourselves. I'm pretty sure we can because I try, but uh, <laughs> when you want to grow a company, uh, to get to a level, you need help. Yeah. You can't do it alone. Absolutely. And reach out for help. You, I think that there's some great women out there. And in, over the years, I met a lot of them. And yeah. um, I met some bad one and I met some great one. Yeah. And uh, the great one that I met, um, fantastic woman that will help you no matter what. Even when they are dealing with their own pain, they'll put their mm -hmm. pain aside and just come and give you a hand. So yeah. don't feel discouraged when you meet all the bad ones. Just keep yes. moving forward anyway. Yes. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Because I, oh, I feel like the I feel like those are there to help you prove to yourself that you really want this. Because if you let if that if you give up after that, then you may not really want what you're saying you're wanting. So if you're like determined and 
and that person doesn't stop you or those people don't stop you, then I feel like then you'll be successful, right? You know exactly. that's what you really want. Mm -hmm. absolutely i agree with you nicole and i appreciate you taking the time to have this conversation with me mm -hmm. and um be well with nikki i look forward to keep on following you and learning more about what you do and sharing it with my uh, network as well and i think what mm -hmm. you're doing is awesome and i look forward to the number of it don't forget don't don't leave me behind now girl you better <laughs> I, will. <laughs> I, will, I will definitely keep you informed for sure <laughs> And I appreciate the time and the knowledge because I know that the knowledge that you have, uh, you spend a lot of time learning it and a lot of money spent and it's worth a lot. And sharing it with others means a lot to me. And please, whatever happens, keep on moving forward. And uh, I know working with, dealing with women is a lot of work, but please, we have to keep moving forward so the next mm -hmm. generation of women can be better. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely. And thank you for having me. It's been a beautiful conversation. Wow, what a great conversation with Nicole. So many people are battling depression and seeking a way to find inner peace. Listening to Nicole's story and how she is helping others find the ways is amazing. Thank you, Nicole, for taking the time to have this conversation with me. Let me know your thoughts about this episode with Nicole. And to learn more about Nicole and Be Well With Nikki, visit www.bewellwithnikki.com. Thank you for listening to Female Founders Podcast. That's it for this week's episode. Be sure to follow us on your favorite podcast app or connect with us on womel.com so that you don't miss our next episode. See you next time. Bye for now.